Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another tips and tricks video. I just wanted to give Ty Kimber a quick shout out for the idea for today's video, uh, which will be showing you guys how to install the graphical add-ons that I use in Football Manager in your own game and where to find them. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay guys, so before we get into this properly, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is strictly for private use. Obviously there are some licensing issues with SI and some of the clubs around the world. Um, for instance, uh, Manchester United uh, are looking at suing Sports Interactive for uh, the rights to Manchester United and the damaging uh, rights around um, the logo that SI put in um that isn't the manchester united logo they sort of say that it devalues their brand um zealand has done a really good video on that uh, topic specifically breaking stuff down so i'm going to leave a link to that uh, in a card that's going to appear around there um but yes i just wanted to say guys this is for private use only just to enhance your experience i mean don't get me wrong i use it as well and i think it does add to the experience of football manager um, but yeah, remember, just for a private enhancement of your Football Manager experience. So guys, in today's video, I will be going over the logos, the face pack, the trophies, and the views that I use uh, within Football Manager. I'll show you where I get them from. Uh, all the links to those will be down in the description. And I will also run through how you go about downloading them and how you uh, go about getting them into your Football Manager game, reloading the preferences and updating the skin and all that good stuff. So the first thing you need to do guys is you need to open up one of my latest videos. I understand it's a little bit of a plug, but all my links are in uh, to all these views and stuff are in my descriptions uh, of every upload. Um, so once you are there, you will see here where I've got the logos from. Uh, that is the FM based logo pack, the DF11 face pack, um, my custom views here are from FM Scout and I've recently added a trophies uh, add-on uh, also from FM Scout um, so obviously links and shout outs to all of these guys uh, go without saying so for instance let's start off with the logo pack so as I mentioned the logo pack is from FM base obviously you can see that I am signed in here you will need to create an account to log in so this will give you the updated logos for over 50,000 of the clubs and the competitions within the game so once you have this all you have to do, you sign in, you give over your details, and then you click go to download. That will open up this Google Drive. Obviously, Google Drive will not be able to deal with it because the file is massive. Uh, and then you just click this download button. Click download anyway. As I said, Google Drive will not be able to scan it uh, as the file is 2.3 gig. And then you click download anyway. And then you will see it go down there into your downloads folder. Much the same goes for the DF11 face pack. Um, there is a way of doing it via torrent. However, I personally do mine via the web download. Um, so you would go onto the link in my description, which will bring you all the way to this page and you scroll yourself down and you click download via web. Um, once you do that, that will take you over to this page and you will need to download all four parts individually um they are massive massive files uh between two to three gig a piece um there's a lot a lot of images for these players um let me see if i can figure out how many uh players are in the total face pack okay guys so i've just done a little bit of research as to how many player faces are in here it's over 120,000 player faces from over 99 leagues massive shout out to the guys at df11 for putting this together it's unreal like the amount of effort that must have gone into this i just cannot cannot believe it um so yeah massive shout out to those guys uh the next two are from uh, fm scout again links are in my description for those um, so I have Jamie's Essential Football Manager 2020 views. Uh, this covers the um, squad view, tactic view, scouting view, and the staff search view as well. And the final thing is the uh, Football Manager Trophies Mega Pack 
which again is found on FM Scout. All you need to do is click download uh, now and the button will take you to another page. It'll take a few seconds and then the download will start. So my next piece of advice to you guys is setting up your file structure for these files um, where they need to be in the sports interactive folder. Um, so I'm gonna cover this quickly on both Windows and Mac. Um, so first of all, I will cover Windows because that is what I'm using. Um, so you find the sports interactive files here. So you go into your uh, files and then you find it here in documents. So then you click sports interactive Obviously you can see I have Football Manager 2020 and 2010 installed. So you click on 2020. And then once you're here, you can see all of these uh, folders. Now, I understand some of you guys will not have all of these folders. Um, for instance, here I have editor data, which has the FM editor database for the uh, tier 10 save that I'm doing, um, which is on my channel It's a live series that I'm doing on YouTube, but that is where the database for that sits. Um, it's again it's a download that you can find out there um, and that lives in here for instance the views that i have you need to set up a views folder and here you can see the fm scout scouting staff search tactic and squad view so so once you are here you will need to create a views folder if you want my views and if you want the graphics you will have to create a graphics folder um, follow the name and structure like I have, um, so lowercase uh, to start the folder and you will be absolutely fine. The same thing works for uh, tactics, tactic styles, any set pieces that you've got, uh, any schedules for training. You can find downloads to all these things out there on the internet. It's entirely up to you if you want to use them. Um, obviously, for instance, I have my tactical styles here. Uh, custom gig and press and then the hood gaming style that I'm using on the tier 10 save that I mentioned earlier You can find all this stuff online and then just make the according folder here and then That is the home for where all the files then sit for you Okay, so you've now downloaded your files and you have set up your folder structure The next thing you will need if you are on Windows is WinRAR uh, it'll just Google WinRAR and it'll bring you to this page and you can just download WinRAR here. This is because the folders are zipped, this helps you unpackage the folder. And um, the downloads are large as they are. So if they, were, if they weren't zipped, sorry, uh, it'd be even longer. It'd take you so long to download the, the, all these files. So download WinRAR and if you are on Mac, you will need the Unarchiver. They basically do the same thing, but one is exclusive to Windows and the other is exclusive to Mac. Okay guys, so now you've downloaded your files. As you can see here, I've downloaded a few. Uh, let's take a look at the standard logo pack. You open, just click it open and then let it read the contents. And then this is what you will see. So. Here is, here is the logos file. So you want to select this one. You want to go on extract two. And then this is where you need to find the folders that we made earlier. So you go into the documents folder. As you can see here, I have sports interactive. So you click on the little plus here. Football manager 2020, click on the plus. Here is the graphics folder that we would have created earlier. And then I have the pictures folder with the logos in here, but you will want to select the graphics folder here and then hit OK. Obviously I've already got this installed, but I'm just gonna click yes to all so you can sort of see what happens with the process. So it's just gonna overwrite it. As you can see, this doesn't um, take as long as the download, obviously uh, it happens pretty quickly as you can see, but it is extracting, as I mentioned, over 50,000 logos at this point. Um, the same works for the face pack and the logo pack and the trophy pack. Um, they, they all work, they all do the same thing. You're all gonna need to do the same thing for them. A few moments later. Okay, so once that is done, you can go back over to your graphics folder. And as I mentioned, here's the pictures, here is the logos. Let's go into normal clubs and here are all the logos. As you can see, there's a lot. Um, if we go back to the graphics folder, I've already done the face packs. Um, so again, you can see that I have the DF11 mega pack, uh, the four different version, uh, four different parts of this, sorry, not four different versions. And as you can see here, here are a lot 
a lot of faces. Okay, so now I am going to go over what you will need to do if you are on a Mac. So if you are on a Mac, you need to go into your finder. You need to click on your locations here. It should have your name or whatever you've called your Mac. Click on Macintosh HD, which will take you into your hard drive. Then you will need to select users. Then you will see your user uh, in the top left. Obviously I've blurred out the person who's helped me uh, put this together. So you will click on your user. Then once you are in here, you need to go to the public folder. And then this is where you will find the sports interactive folder again. So you will go from the sports interactive folder into football manager 2020. And then the same thing applies here. You may need to create um, the folder structure yourself. So for instance, creating the graphics folder, that sort of thing. And then obviously they, they stay in the exact same place like I just mentioned in the Windows portion of this video. As you can see here, the person that I uh, got to help me with this, they already have the DF11 Mega Pack. So again, you download your folder, um, you download the file, then you use the unarchiver on Mac to export it into this area. So obviously you will go into the graphics folder in the sports interactive section of your hard drive. Simple. So now we are at a stage where you should have your face pack, your logo pack, and your potential trophies pack if you want them. Obviously you don't need all of these. Uh, this is just what I use for my setup. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to go into Football Manager. So I have just fired up Football Manager. I have jumped in quickly to my save with Longwell Green Sports in my tier 10 save. And the next thing you need to do is you need to click on FM in the top here and go to Preferences. You need to then click on the advanced tab here and then go to interface. And once you are on the interface tab, you need to scroll down to the skin section and you need to untick use caching to decrease page load times. You need to untick this box and then you need to tick reload skin when confirming changes in preferences. Uh, and then once you've done that, um, I need to do something to prompt the skin to reload. So I'm gonna switch from Football Manager Dark to Football Manager Light. And then you should be able to click confirm. Then you should then you need to see this pop up here. So changing skin, loading image data for the new skin. So then as you can see, my skin has reloaded. It is in the light skin, which I hate, so I will be changing this back to the FM dark skin immediately. But as you can see, even one of my players at this level, tier 10, Milo Hall, has a face in this game. So that is Milo Hall. Let me show you some of the other players that you will potentially be looking at uh, getting. Uh, let's just go to uh, Manchester City, for instance. So as you can see, I have the Manchester City logo in the Premier League. I have the Premier League logo updated here and I have all of these faces. So for instance, you even have uh, Pep Guardiola. He has a face in this game. Um, as you can see, all of his attributes and stuff. So Pep is in the game, uh, but there's also players. As you can see here, there's David Silva. And that is the case for not just the Premier League guys, um, that will cover you all across the board. As I said, there's a lot of faces in the face pack, there's a lot of logos in the logo pack. So I've just jumped over to Barcelona here, as you can see the Barcelona logo is in place, as is the La Liga logo. Again, you can see the uh, Barcelona manager, you can see obviously Lionel Messi, um, they have absolutely everything that you will need guys. Okay guys, so that is it. It is as simple as that. Just follow these steps slowly and make sure that you export things into the right folder and also you use the, the programs that I've suggested. Obviously there are others out there, but I know that these two are both free. They are the safest. You don't have to torrent anything and then you will end up with the exact same uh, playing experience that I have. Okay guys, so that is it for today. If you have found this video informative and useful, don't forget it to give it a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content. I am putting out videos every day at the moment, so don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you get notified when I push a new video live. 
Um, so, but that is it for today, guys. So look after yourselves, stay safe, and I will see you very soon.